I'll give it to you. Cat. Yeah. Four, four pounds maybe, five. Absolutely. Are you sure you want to go home? Well, if you're going to stay, you can put your stuff on my boat and I'll take you out. I'll let you do all the fishing. I'll guide you. All right, everybody, you guys on Facebook and everybody else, I said I was going to come out to Heineke Lake and I was going to pick up an angler that was just out there fishing. And this young man, what's your name, sir? Richard Maldonado. Richard? You're going to come out with me and we're going to fish for a couple hours. I'm going to put you on some fish. How's that sound? That's awesome. All right, everybody, stay tuned. All right, fish on. What he is, there he is. This sucker is huge. Let's see what he is. Okay, let's stop right here. Let's not forget who started this whole thing. Four years ago, I began pioneering freshwater black drum on a fly rod and spinning gear. Now, someone other than me, the Illinois Outdoor newspaper, prints this article and talks about how to prepare and how good freshwater black drum tastes. Your first drum. <laughs> cool. Is guy. that quite good or what? Yeah, this case. Oh nice. my god. Nice. That's a beauty. There we go. That's a drum. That's a drum. That's a drum. That's a freshwater black drum related to the redfish. Are you look at your face? Are you crazy? <laughs> this thing's huge. <laughs> okay, hang on folks. We're gonna shoot, we're gonna get the hook out and then we're gonna shoot a little video. Now watch what happens in this next clip. Being a catch and release guide, after I take a photograph like this one, I just reach my left hand down and I drop the fish in the water. After telling Richard he could keep the fish, how to clean it, how to prepare it, and how to eat it, he looked at me like, man, that was so wrong what you just did. But being a good guy, he took it all in stride with a smile on his face, and I told him I would get him another one, and that's exactly what we did. Sorry, I accidentally released this fish. <laughs> I apologize. Now we'll have to catch another one. It's our pulling. <laughs> this one's pulling, but this one's bigger. Uh, what is it? It's a carp. It's got to be a carp. No, it's not a carp. It's a drum. This yeah, it's drum? a nice drum. Oh, you ain't throwing this one away. <laughs> You're not throwing this one away, bud. This one I'm keeping. Oh, this one I'm definitely keeping. All right, hang on. Can I cook this one? Or is it too big? Uh, you can cook this one, no problem. Really? Yeah. Oh, this one. This one looks awesome. <laughs> All right, you get to eat this one. All right, thank cool. you. Cool. <laughs> Great fight, right? It was a terrific fight. <laughs> and now, instead of me throwing it in the lake, we're throwing this one in your cooler. This will be the first one I get to try. <laughs> All right, I'm going to actually take a photograph of this. Rich, I had a great time. You are an above average angler, which has kind of fulfilled my dream of picking up somebody from the bank, is that at least you're a good angler, you cast very well, you did a great job listening to my instructions, and that's why you caught some fish. I know you're in a rush to get home. It was great fishing with you. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Bob. Push my boat off the bank. Yes, I appreciate sir. it, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Have Take a great care, day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Uh, Richard, I'm sorry you left. Right after you left, the same bank that I picked you up on. All right, on again. We're gonna bend in that rod. I don't know what it is. That's got some weight to it. This would be a great time to close out the video. I want to thank John Mao from Excalibur Rods 
Um, if we flash back to when Richard was fighting the fish, you'll see he's, he's handling a white spinning rod. John built that rod to my specifications. If you need a rod for an angler in your family, for a gift or for Christmas, any color scheme, photographs, writings, special markings, John can do it for you. <laughs> I got a feel pig. Oh, I want to thank uh, Richard for joining me. Um, uh, hopefully I planted a seed for him about catching smallmouth and stripers and releasing those fish. Big cat. Everybody out there, this is Captain Bob. You know, it is uh, Labor Day weekend, but even though it is considered the end of the season, it's not the end of the fishing. So we still have some 80 degree temperatures coming up, so the fishing on the river and on Heideke Lake is going to be awesome. So give me a call at 708-261-6759. Love that sound. <laughs>